Hi everyone! Just a heads up for this assignment, you're going to be seeing my hands and not just my face, but I wanted to come on and say hello, and I hope that we are ready to roll for our first assignment. So, let's get drawing! So what we are going to be drawing is going to be using perspective. So perspective is a way to draw and make your flat surfaces, your 2D surfaces, look like they are three-dimensional. So it gives your artwork some depth. All right, so to start off with, the very first thing we need on our paper is called a vanishing point. All you're going to do is make a dot on your paper anywhere, somewhere around the middle. This is the point where objects start to vanish into the background. Then what you're going to do is you are going to take some straight edge surface and you are going to draw a line straight across. This is going to be her, your horizon line where the earth and the sky meet and your vanishing point needs to be right on the horizon line. So with this drawing we are going to be making a street. So what you'll do is you'll take your straight edge, you'll put your pencil in the vanishing point and just draw a line straight to the edge of your paper both sides, almost making a triangle because this is going to be the street we are drawing. So I've got a nice triangle in here. This is my street. So what I'm going to do is try and find about the middle, line up to my vanishing point, and I'm going to make lines, like the dotted lines in the middle of the street. The closer you get to your vanishing point, the tinier you need to make your little Actually, they're dashes, not dots, so your dash is in the middle. Now we are going to get started in drawing three buildings. Our first building I'm going to draw over here on the left. Now, you don't have to draw it exactly where I draw it, but you can if you would like to. I was thinking about making a sidewalk, but I changed my mind. So what we are going to do is we are going to draw a line straight up and down. You're going to want to use your straight edge. It doesn't matter how high it is, just keep it below your horizon line for this first one. Then what I'm going to do is draw another one that is parallel, meaning that these two lines, that first one I just drew, and the second one will never run into each other. Now that I've got those two there, draw it a little bit darker so you can see it here. But once I have those two drawn, I'm going to draw a line that is going to be parallel with the bottom of my paper. So really all it's going to do is make a rectangle. So start off with a nice rectangle using a straight edge. Something really, really important to remember is that you need to draw light. Draw light, 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 light. That way you can erase. Drawing with perspective, this is one point perspective, takes a lot of erasing. So what we are going to do now is we are going to connect the corners of our buildings to the vanishing point. We are not going to connect the one my finger was just on just because it's going straight through our building. So the easiest way to do this is to put your pencil right on your vanishing point, hold it nice and steady right there, and then slide your straight edge so that you connect the corner and your pencil. And you will just draw a nice light line. And then I will do the same thing and just turn the straight edge, my pencil holding it in place, and connecting. So it gives you the look that it's like this giant shape going all the way back. Now what we want to do is we want to make this into a building. So we need some more parallel lines. So a parallel line to this one I'm pointing out here, except for what we're going to connect is we are going to connect from those lines we just drew. So connect one to the other. A little trick to make it parallel is just to slide it up evenly if you'd like. Or what you could do is you could measure it out. I'm okay if you want to just kind of guess and see if it'll be parallel. So there we go. I've got one and then I'm going to erase the extra lines I have there. Sorry for the camera shake. I can't really control it. Alright, so now we're going to look at that point we just made right there and we're going to draw it down. Straight down. 
We want it to be parallel with the first rectangle that we made. And now this is the fun part. We get to erase all these lines because we have just created a shape. Congratulations, it's your first perspective shape that you've drawn. Now I'm gonna go over it with marker so you can see it a little bit better. And that means that my lines won't be as nice and straight as they were the first time, but that's okay. Just a reminder, if you need to pause this video and you need to try again or possibly get a new piece of paper, that's okay. To be honest, this is my third piece of paper I'm trying this on. So, it is okay if it does not look perfect. Just know we are trying and this is probably our first time doing this. So now I'm going to make another building. Same thing as before, you are going to start off with a rectangle. I'm going to move mine a little bit away from my road just so that you can see what else it will look like. So start off with my straight line up and down, having it parallel to the bottom of my paper, meaning it won't cross over it at all. And then I don't know if I really like it all the way along the edge, so I'm going to make it a little bit before. And there we go. And then I will erase those two lines. That is why you want to draw light by light so that you can erase your pencil. All right. So now we're going to connect that corner to the dot, that corner to your vanishing point, and that one. We're not going to do that one because it goes through your building. And we don't need it because that's going to be the front of our building. So I'm going to start up here. Put my pencil in, move the folder all the way to the edge, and find my corner. Hold it in place, and draw down. Then I'm going to put my pencil back up here on the vanishing point, slide my ruler, actually my folder. Hold it steady and connect, and then do it one more time. And connect. There we go. So we are going to do the same thing we did on the left one with this one and have a parallel line from the top that is connecting those two ones we just finished drawing. Straight across. And then from the end of that one, make another parallel line going straight up and down. Connecting the next line from those corners. And now we've got our building, which is kind of a cube, just like the other one. So in an effort to make it so that you can see better, I will go back over with my permanent marker so that you can see. Also, what I'm going over with permanent marker is what I want to keep. The rest I'm going to erase because those are lines just to help me out, to guide me into how to draw these and that is why we use our pencil and we draw so very light. Again, I'm sorry about the camera shake. My table is so wobbly. Soon I will have a sturdier table. Alright, we are going to draw our final building. Now, I want to show you what it looks like when we draw a building that goes higher then our horizon line. So I'm going to start the bottom of my building right there and it's going to go up above the horizon line. It's also going to be a rectangle or a square, whichever you would choose, but please draw one above the horizon line. So there we go. Now we are going to connect our corners. Oh, give me a second, let me erase. We're going to connect our corners. Remember, if the corner goes all the way through the building or the square, we don't need to draw that one. So we are just going to end up doing that one there and that one right there. They all connect to your vanishing point. Your vanishing point is very important. So we are going to place our pencil, line up the corner, and connect. And that's it. 
That's all we're doing for that one when it comes to connecting to our vanish point. We just have one more line to draw, and that is a straight up and down parallel line that connects those two. And we have our third building. I'll go over with permanent markers so that you can see it better. And there is our one point perspective. Remember, our few words that we need to learn from this is the vanishing point, that dot in the middle, our horizon line, where the sky meets the ground, and then parallel, meaning that our lines are not going to intersect or cross over each other. So I'll erase the leftovers and then what? the leftover lines that is, and then you can watch me decorate mine. We are going to decorate these in a winter theme. It doesn't necessarily need to be a holiday theme, but just something that reminds you of winter. So here is mine. <laughs> 